There's some, there's purity in physical pursuits, right? Because it doesn't matter what your social status is. It doesn't matter how people perceive you. When it, when it comes down to how long can you stay in that pool, when it comes down to how far can you run, when it comes down to how much can you push yourself past the part where you want to quit, how far can you keep going? There's a purity in that, that it, it, it dissolves social order, all that bullshit, all the, what people think about you goes out the window. It's what, who, who are you right now? Right. Who are you right now? That's a true statement, man. And I look at it as, as, as psychological warfare. And that's where I started learning that, that life is one big psychological warfare that you play on yourself. What's up, guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. I want to make this video because I'm announcing my transition from bodybuilding to my ultra marathon. I know I had said I'm going to do an Ironman, and I am going to do an Ironman, and I'm gonna give you the timeline here. Today I'm gonna to take you guys through a full day of training from an ultra marathon um, in Arizona, in the canyons, and then that's gonna be in March. After that, the Ironman's gonna be in August or September. So we're doing those two events. Um, those are like on the schedule, and we'll see what comes in between there, but those are officially booked. And yeah, I'm gonna walk you guys through the journey of transitioning from, as you guys know, I just competed in bodybuilding to this big endurance push. So I'm just excited to show you guys like the variety of training and stuff that's changing. So we can go into that more, but really this video is just to show you guys how to transition from just like bodybuilding to bodybuilding, running and lifting, and uh, yeah, all that just being an athlete and overall athlete. So yeah, we're gonna start off with a run. Might just make a full day of eating out of this because I know you guys will get a lot of value from that. So I'll show you guys what I take from eating to supplements and everything today. So here's to transitioning from gym bro to, uh, what do I say? <laughs> so here's the transition into endurance. So let's do it. Now, when I wake up, I'm going to show you guys what I have in the morning and before the run, it's just a glass of water. Um, I do this because it's like wakes my body up, gets everything going. And uh, this is all I'll have with an espresso, coffee, diesel fuel, gets me going and also fires me up for my run. I enjoy it and it helps my body wake up. So I have black coffee, water, go for the run, which I'm going to take you guys through. But before that, I want to just explain why I'm doing this ultra marathon. Um, I didn't have anything planned until the Ironman until August, but I wanted a challenge. I look at the ultra as like a hike, but running, like looking at it as almost like a journey. So I'm gonna go on this journey, go through a lot of ups and downs with myself, battling through the weather, the terrain, cause I'm running through the Arizona canyons, which is, it's called the Antelope Canyons if you look it up, but it's through this treacherous sand terrain in Arizona and it starts out really cold the race and then it gets hotter and hotter and there's multiple different seasons that you almost encounter. Uh, I just wanna see how far I can push my mind and body because each time I do one of these crazy, th crazy things, whether it's a bodybuilding prep, marathon, or um, Ironman, like, it's taught me so much and I've grown more and more as a human through it because I learned like the power of resilience and just keep battling whenever things get hard. And I think that's truly where uh, I find happiness is, is exploring and seeing what I'm truly capable of. And I think that's why we're all doing it, you know, like in fitness, we're all just trying to see what we're capable of. So um, yeah. So just like that, wrapped up seven miles at an eight minute and three second pace. Total time, 56 minutes. First long run of ultra marathon prep. Diesel build. Post run, I'm gonna show you guys what I have to recover from my run through hydration, which is gonna be sodium. I'm gonna show you guys what I have to recover through protein, which is gonna help my muscles. And then also I'm gonna show you guys the carb sources that I have to, uh, fuel me throughout the day to work and then to also train later on. So let's get into it. 
Now, one reason I love training as an athlete, running, lifting, and doing all that shit is because I like the saying that I created, it's burn hot, eat a lot. I would rather run and enjoy the feeling of finishing a run, the endorphins, come back and slam some food knowing I earned it, knowing I feel great, I'm healthy, rather than restricting myself, not moving much, just so I can be leaner. That's somehow, that's a way some people would take it. I like to, like I said, burn hot, eat a lot, go for runs, lift, move throughout the day, go on 10 minute walks four times a day. Like everybody can go on a 10 minute walk four times a day. I always say burn hot, eat a lot. The more you move, the more you can eat and the more you can stay lean and the more you can just enjoy life. Don't get in that toxic mindset where you restrict and you don't move as much and it's just a bad mindset to be in and I've been there before. So just make sure you fuel your body with the important nutrients it needs and also with enough and just move, move. Be an athlete, think of my body like a car. Imagine if I just let my car sit around for a month and I'd, or two months or three months or four months and I didn't do any service to it, I didn't fuel it up. I'd be a little nervous to go take that car out, right? But if I had a car that I consistently drove and I consistently worked on it, like I would trust that car to take it further because it's always moving, it's always upgrading, always getting maintenance. That's how I look at my body, right? You tweak things like, hey, I uh, might have been a little off track that day. Okay, let me do this. Let me do that. Let me cut the calories back a little bit. Let me move a little bit more. Let me um, see how that does. And just like constantly monitor your body. You are your own coach, right? You know yourself best, but know when enough is enough with eating bullshit and feeling like shit. Um, that's a big reason. You are what you eat. So if you feel like shit, you're probably gonna not like the way you look. So make sure you fuel yourself with great nutrients and be proud of the way you are because what you eat really reflects on how you feel. With that being said, that's enough TED Talk. Let's get into making this um, protein coffee. First off with the protein coffee, I'm gonna have an apple post run. This apple keeps my satiety low. It's got high fiber, so it's gonna keep me satiated. So I'm gonna have an apple with my protein coffee. So that is the one thing I wanna show you. And like I said, you need to eat Fuji apples. They are the best. So, so many people don't like apples and it's because you're getting the, the shitty ones. Fuji is the best. Don't, don't argue with me, Fuji's the best. So the number one question I get is how I make my protein coffee. So the big misunderstanding is that you toss protein right in the hot drink and it always gets clumpy. That's what you don't do. What you wanna do is you're gonna mix it separately. So what I like to do is I like to take almond milk. Now I don't weigh this out, I just, pour it in. I probably do like half a cup of almond milk and then I add my protein in it and stir it up. That way it prevents the clumps. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Now the protein I use is vanilla whey protein from raw. Link in the description below. Code French if you want to save money. I mix vegan and vanilla together. Oh my god I can't talk. I mix vegan and vanilla together because um, vegan digests better for me but People that like way more than vegan, obviously you can just do that. But I like to mix the two together. So what I'm gonna do is I take one scoop of vegan vanilla and I'll put it in here. And I'll do one scoop of vanilla. So I do two scoops of protein in my um, protein coffee. Now this, this gets the bowel movements going. And uh, this is how I stay regular. <laughs> now to top it off, I add some stevia, one sugar-free sweeteners. I use skinny syrups because I just really like their stuff. This is cinnamon dulce. It tastes amazing, especially around fall. I'm one of those people that, in the seasons, I'm a big season guy, so when it's fall, like, I got all the fall shit. As you guys can see, the apartment's all decorated with pumpkins, like, I like that kind of stuff. So, uh, cinnamon dulce, and then we have this 1883 chocolate sugar-free syrup. This stuff's really good, too. Um, I buy it on Amazon. But anyways, that is that. So I'm gonna take a frother this up and it's gonna become like a creamer. But like I said, if you mix the protein right in the coffee, it's gonna get clumpy. I don't know why it does that, but it just doesn't mix right. So you gotta mix it first in milk. I always get that question. People are like, why does my protein coffee taste like shit? And it's always because you're not mixing it separately. Um, this is a craft. Good things take time, you know? So it's nice and thick, <laughs> nice and thick. 
and then I'm gonna show you guys the consistency of what it looks like. Protein coffee done with the creamer. Now I just have to add coffee to it. Um, and then also I'll have my apple. And then I'll go work. And yeah, it's just keeps me satiated and honestly makes me feel really good. I don't like eating a huge meal in the morning. So it's like 10 o'clock right now, 9.30, which is when I have typically my protein coffee. So I only eat my first meal around like 12 or one o'clock. But this high protein with some fiber from the apple keeps me satiated in the morning. And it helps me from not going crazy, like with cravings and shit. Um, Cause I'm like everybody else, I get hungry, but it's all about what you eat. Like, think about it, like I said, as a car. You want to put that good fuel in your car so it burns good, runs good. This works for me. So, hope this helps. All right, so this is what the protein coffee looks like. Nice and thick. This is what I'm going to have, this big glass right here before my next meal. All right, so this is going to be lunch. This is going to be what we have. Well, technically breakfast since this is the first meal. We have fat-free cheese, which I just used up all of it here, fat-free cheese. And then um, we have 300 grams of egg whites and one egg. We have some frozen pineapple that I was munching on while I was making the food. But yeah, and these are the wraps I use. They're high in fiber. They're called, called Carb Balance Mission Wraps. Now these are the burrito size, so they're pretty big, as you can tell. But um, look at the macros on here. Like there's six grams of fat, but because it's made with a lot of fiber, that's where it, um, that's what I was saying, the fiber doesn't get digested. Uh, a lot of it just passes through and fills up your gut. So yeah, this is what I have. As you guys can see, five grams net carbs. But yeah, this helps me stay satiated. And I love this meal right here, one of my favorites. So the next meal is gonna be some peanut butter, vegan protein, one and a half scoops of that. One scoop of fiber to fill up my stomach, keep me satiated, and um, the yogurt, and I'm gonna stir it all up. And then add a banana, and I'll show you guys what the finished product gets. It looks like almost like a thick pudding, but yeah, I'm gonna quick stir it up. So right here's the finished product. We got some honey on top of that, some bananas, and some frozen raspberries and blueberries. But yeah, this is my favorite high protein fruit bowl, protein bowl, whatever you want to call it. So meal number three, we have chicken and rice, canned carrots, um, 150 grams of rice and eight ounces of chicken. And then we have this French's honey mustard. Now, never in my life would I ever think I would put mustard on anything because I hated it ever since growing up. Like I just thought it tastes disgusting, but I saw French's on it, so I wanna give it a shot. This is honey mustard, and I started putting it on my meals, and it tastes amazing, but I never would've thought I would've liked honey mustard. So, low in calories though, and honestly, if you can get yourself through the initial adjustment of tasting it, I mean, some people naturally like it. I at first didn't like it, but it's better than eating chicken and rice plain, and I get tired of ketchup, so. Mustard, here we go. So this is gonna be my next meal. This is the meal before dinner. So uh, red meat actually, because calories are gonna be brought up as I'm gonna be training a lot, running 100 miles. So this is gonna be what we have for uh, dinner. I'm gonna add this whole thing. So I get, I work with a meal prep company. Um, you guys can use code French, but I like it because I hate cooking steak. So that's what I get from them, steak and sometimes chicken breast. But this is gonna be what I use, and I just dump that right in there. So this is gonna be steak and rice. I have mixed vegetables in here, just like frozen ones that I heated up. Um, so 200 grams, 250 grams of rice, and then the whole steak pack, which is like eight ounces of steak, and then, um, yeah, some rice. So I'm gonna add my favorite toppings to this. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. What I add to make it taste like sour cream, because sour cream isn't the best for macros, I use um, this 0% fege. Um, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Like, If you guys know how to pronounce it, drop it in the comments, but fege, I'm gonna use um, a half a serving of this, which is only like 45 calories, and it's got um, nine grams of protein, which you can't beat, and it tastes just like sour cream. Um, so 
gonna throw this on the meal and then yeah probably a few toppings as well then this is the seasoning we're gonna use adding a little bit of yogurt and mixing it in to like any meal with like potatoes rice um, sweet potatoes but having beef in it and chicken is amazing like i'm telling you adding like plain make sure it's plain because adding like strawberry yogurt might taste like shit, but tastes so good like wait till you try it it's amazing